video, sweetie. And this guy thinks his idea of masculinity and asserting your role as a masculine man is literally inseminating any walking, breathing thing on the planet. There's a couple things we won't get into there, but you, at the very beginning, you said men are a mess. Mm-hmm. So can you expand on that? How what I was saying, of course, they're not all a mess, but it's what I was saying, how, you know, they're lost in the sauce, lo- lost their footing around their own identity themselves, mm-hmm. how to interact with women. These, by no means, I'm saying every man is in one of these camps. These are obviously extreme examples in Butker's our society, but both of them have big followings and people. How's Butker extreme? He didn't even say anything extreme. Well... I have defended him at the time saying, look, it's the guy's point of view. Let him live. Like, stop crucifying him. But I took issue with the fact that gave this speech. And again, like, dude, uh, take the moment to address the men. Like, he's addressing the women. And he's like, yeah, I would venture to guess, you know, you women want to pursue this career-wise. But at the end of the day, you all just want to be wives and mothers. And I stand by what I said, what I said at the time. It's like, it's just, to me, a very traditional puritanical archaic way of looking at the world so, well i know because we know where you where you stand on all of this so no no i mean even from his worldview so butker thinks he thinks in terms of teleology he thinks in purpose so he says from his worldview the fulfillment of purpose of men is x and for women it's x so your highest value your highest purpose to god and man is this purpose And the purpose is to be a good wife, mother, this and that. In exchange for that, all of society and God will value you. All right, you just proved my point. How did that prove your point? Because I said it's a puritanical way That's of not looking Puritan. at the world. It's Puritanism, Puritanical. Puritanism is the opposite of this. Puritanism is like this bizarre concept of semi-sweet chocolate and shit like that. That's Puritanism. Puritanism okay. is Protestant prattle. That's that has nothing okay. to do with a Roman Catholic You're foundation. You're trying to poke holes in my thing, and I know what I'm saying. And again, like everything I've said today, common sense people will know exactly what I'm saying. No, that, I, I don't and, think and, they and, will. And you have to remember, at the time, you can go in the full show and watch it. I wasn't like this fucking idiot. Blah, well, blah, blah, Butker, blah. I was like, guys, back off. It's his point of view, right? And Butker's many people. Like, like what right, do you mean? They're not to, Puritans. But to assume he's saying it's <coughs> his opinion, and it's rooted, right? In faith, religion, these traditional views and values. That's okay. I'm All just saying, he's saying the faith. highest calling mm-hmm. for a woman is to be a wife, a mother. But that yeah. simply eradicates all of the other amazing things. I personally, I find I'm not a wife or mother yet. I can't wait to be. But I have just as equal passion in what I do. So to me, it's just archaic. Frame it just feels reference. like Betty Crocker, you know, just like get, being a wife and mother. And so... You know, again, I don't think it's the gospel. I, I could see validity in what he's saying, of course, that women have that yeah. natural, you know, nurturing tendencies to want those things. And I had a, actually a debate with a woman on, on my show about this. Like, do do most women at the end of the day, as much as everyone here all day long, feminist, yeah, I don't need men, at the end of the day, is that something that we all want on some level? Maybe, yeah. So I'm not discrediting him, mm-hmm. but I also think... You know, it's a little archaic to say, women, you guys are going to be happy as doing this and this. It's a little like, okay, it's a little 1950s to me. That's all. You don't have to get bent out it's of shape. That's what fun, I was saying. It's a, so from, again, from his perspective, and this can't be a Puritan. Catholics drank, Catholics smoke, Catholics smoke cigars. They do the opposite of what is called Puritanism. Okay, the opposite. They're not Puritans. Now you can it's say it's all. A, you can say there's arc. so much rooted in you can, what's bad and sin and yeah. rules and remember control. the interrupting thing, right? How I do it, not you though. We're, we're, just saying. So, okay. so when you rewind it, you'll see. But anyway, okay. uh, I just yeah, wanted to point that out as an example. But uh, in any case, when you're talking about purpose from his perspective, he's not saying any of these other contributions are not valuable. He's not saying that's not valuable to be in the sciences if you're a woman. It's not valuable for you to do X thing as a woman. He's saying the highest purpose. I know. I just higher than all other purposes is this. No, you say you made a natural law argument. He said, yeah, naturally they like it. That no, it's not that you're saying even that's his opinion, which many share of a woman's highest calling with God. Mm -hmm. I said that is his opinion. You just regurgitated what I said. No, you actually said it's natural. You were moving into a, this is natural. I said, is there an element mm -hmm, of it mm -hmm. that every woman, right? You could be the most career go getting, yeah, I don't Mm -hmm. need no man, blah, blah, blah. Deep down, 
Is that what women really want? Do women, at the end of the day, maybe they do want to have a family. They do. Yes, maybe. This is the nuance I'm talking about. It's okay. like, okay, both things can be true. Both right? Okay, me actually, oh fuck, maybe what all women do. Maybe I, women at, at the deep down, I don't know why I'm kind of validating your thing, so I don't know why you're being weird. Should we move on? So, so so then I just got one so, last question on it. Okay. So then do you think that society's gotten better as the nuclear family's broken down? I'm for the again, why does it have to be one or the other? I grew up in a nuclear family where Mm -hmm. my mom was a fucking boss. So why does it have to be that? And and again, then on the other end, I know people who were like in light of the Harrods and Bucker things were like, what? I had a stay at home mom. It was the best thing that ever happened for us. Both things can be true. True. And I agree with the nuclear family thing. I've said that throughout the show. So has society gotten better as the nuclear family has broken or worse? There's so many factors that go into it. I would say overall, no. But why overall, is that predicated no on women being home and making banana bread? Because and being that's what makers? the nuclear family is. The no, nuclear family not. is a the nuclear... woman stays at home and okay, the man goes and works. That's not what a nuclear then family is. What is a nuclear is family? A solid, what you were saying earlier, mother and father who are together. Mm-hmm. Why does she have like your argument makes no sense? Be- yes, it won't. Well, Why? Not in what can I'll, you Google I'll Brian it. nuclear family yeah. and in what part of the definition does it say the woman has to stay home? Well, it's not a it's not a must. It's an optimization. And when you talk about the breakdown of society, I agree. Mm-hmm. And it's more than just the nuclear family. Now we have gender norms going all wacky. We have things that you and I can probably uh-huh. agree on. Like there's so many things that go into play than a woman being home to make apple pie, like. Yeah, so, so as women have not been home as much making the apple pie in the nuclear family, and you would agree that most women who were in a nuclear family, when it was a nuclear family, were at home, right? How many of them were happy? Just stop obfuscating suppressed. every fucking question and answer. Stop. How many does women that say whatever? Living their does, 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 whatever? does it say whatever? Okay, we're just not going to see eye no, to no, eye. No, Tell yeah. me. Does that say whatever? Tell me what it says. Does it say whatever? Right now. Just say yes or no. Know, How bitch. dare you? What does it say? Is there a not say whatever rule that I know about? No, I just want to know. Does that say whatever? Does why it, do you want to know? Why don't you tell can us? Can you just say yes or no? Yes or no. I want to know why it's so I want to know why. Because I want to see if it's read. possible for you to answer a single question I actually yeah, asked why you. why is it not possible? You huh? just don't want to <laughs> That's hear why. what I say. We want to hear. We want to hear. We're here for it. <laughs> Go off, queen. Oh. Go off. Takes one to no one. Brian. Was that an own? Was that like <laughs> it takes one of no one? Brian, just being your own queen. queen. Your own <laughs> there were good yes. stuff on lithium. Yeah. Yeah. Just, anyway, I just like to see if you can actually answer a single question I ask you. you. Are, I hey, am. You just on. go you did, around. You need everything. to answer you his question first before you ask some more questions. Does that say whatever? whatever? <laughs> Does it say whatever? Was it? Arbitrary. Hold on. Can just spell whatever for us. How about that? Can you spell it? I can't. I'm Do just it. Dumb blondes. Don't say that. Dumb whore. You're so much more. Don't. Than that. Can you just spell whatever for us? I, can't, I don't even know what it means. That big brain of yours has so many letters in it, it that I just means. know you can spell it. Anyway, <laughs> you know, again, I don't under. It's your view that the nuclear family by definition means i suppose the man goes to work the woman stays home so the nuclear family inside of the united states would you agree with me can you actually answer this answer it don't obfuscate don't bullshit actually answer the question stop simping i'm sorry so so will you come over here i just want to see if you can actually answer this do you think when we had intact nuclear families that the women mostly stayed home or they were mostly working they were home. It was a different time. Yes, they were home. So Women as weren't that, able to so go at, out and yeah, work. I agree, it was their agree, role in I being agree. controlled so in as society. That, as that unit has broken down, where the woman stay at home oh inside God. the nuclear family and man, okay. man, man work, do you think society's better or worse? You're hey, conflating No, no, no. Answer the no question. No, 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 I won't, Brian. Here's why. Here's, Here's why. You're Brian, 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 Brian. Yo, bro, bro. Well, he, okay. Yo, you're flirting with me, bro. <laughs> I just... Did you like it? Uh, hold on. Okay. 
So, uh um, That's fucking disgusting. Bro, you you wish, got a Brian, boyfriend, and your bro. lucky day. You, you got a boyfriend, Yeah, bro. I know, Stop I know. To flirt, man. So, um... <laughs> Damn, what the fuck? Yeah, lay down the law, Brian. What the I won't fuck? answer that because you did such a loaded question, which you've done this entire night. Question. Yes, you, he Andrew's did. He said, question. when no. X, Y, Z, when this, question. this, 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 when the women were home, now is it better or worse? There's so many other what things What do you know about loaded? You know things situation. about loaded? Do you know what? Do you know about loaded? So, so usually what you do is you a load of gun. usually people will answer the question, then give the qualifier for why they object. They don't usually just object. They usually answer the question and then give the objection. That's usually what people do. But you did a whole. You do yeah, not understand. You answered. said, well, by this, 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 this. So. Z. Yeah, so so that means so, I'm agreeing. If I say yes, that means I'm agreeing to nope. everything you said, which nope. you strategically did. You can agree that yes, yes, it has broken down since the nuclear family's broken down, and then give a counter argument. But that's not because of the nuclear family. That's that's Fair how enough. you would do. That's how you would do an argument, right? Fair enough. So as we go in this, the re the only reason we keep getting stuck forever on these topics because I can't get an answer out of you. So I just want to know if you're an advocate for the nuclear family, okay, and you agree with me, you do agree with me that most women, at least in our conception of a nuclear family, stayed home. As that unit has broken down, has society gotten better or has it gotten worse? Let me answer like a good little girl. It's mm -hmm. gotten worse. Yeah. However, there are more factors at play. Yeah. Than women not just staying home. There's so much technology. We have dating apps. Uh -huh. We have people wanting new options. People can't Boys. commit. People aren't it. married for 50 years like they were with my grandparents, right? You have, like I said, gender norms getting all kooky, crazy, men being women, emasculating men. You have all kinds of things going on. Women and aren't all of those the, things like, essentially the direct woman... assault on the nuclear family? Why? Yes. <laughs> Assault Almost everything that you named it, is directly an assault on the nuclear Right, family. I agree. Well, that's what I said. Well, then how is this not correlated then? Because you're saying the sole reason mm -hmm. is because women aren't staying home. And I just went, no, actually, I'm saying X, that, Y, nope. Z, all these other things. And you're like, yeah, you're right, Nope, actually. I said it's because of the nuclear family, but the intact nuclear family, at least our conceptualization of it, is that men worked, women stayed home. That's the conceptual, you, know, you agree, right? That that's the conceptualization. That is what it was traditionally, yeah, yes. yes. You'd have to be a, a reptilian caveman to think that keep, that's keep how... reptiles out of this. Sorry, they didn't well, ask for I'm this. You're right. Reptile again. lives matter. Keep them out of the you didn't, yeah, No, you're right. You're right. Um, you know, that that's how it has to be now. And again, some people, even the, the woman I had on my show, she's like, look, stay-at-home moms get a lot of shit. They're labeled as lazy, as this, as this, as this, and we take pride in it and we love it. Again, I think that that's great. But why can't we do it with the reverse with women who are out working and adding and contributing to society while also being a mother? It's like, again, both things can be true. Be, that's true. But traditions are experiments which work. That's why they're traditions. Because Does it's an it work hang that on. religion keeps people so I controlled just let and you as go. grown adults? They're I, I, well, hang on. I'm going to answer yeah. all of these questions okay, in sequence. Oh boy. Yes. Oh boy. All traditions are experiments which work or they wouldn't be traditions. Right? They do them over and over and over and over and over again because it works. When it comes to religion and control, yes, of course, religion's a phenomenal control for society. Of course oh, it is. Oh, buddy. At least Truly that you can acknowledge that it is control <laughs> and that it has, that's why it was. Yeah, but I'm a big fan control. of controlling society through that. religion. That's Which great. Which is why it's so. Early, this is bringing us way back to earlier, like 10 weeks ago, we started this podcast. Not to go into the weeds of this now, but. That's why I asked if you were a socialist communist because you're so about control versus the individual man. Mm. I'm, Not I'm, to get deep and political, I'm just tossing so it. Deep. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm just, sorry. That's libertarian nonsense. So no. Not only am I not a communist, loathe socialists, but I also really loathe libertarians who have a, from my opinion, why terrible worldview. Why you want? I was say, so I'm going to explain it. Okay. J and okay. I'm just going to ask you one question. I won't interrupt. Okay. You have my but I want you to give me your word. You'll answer the question. Okay. Should the state enforce whether or not a brother and sister can have sex with each other? Damn, bro. Why you got to do uh, that? Damn, that's crazy. That is crazy. That's crazy. <sighs> no, but it's wrong. Yeah. Can, we got to move things on, boys. Should they enforce against it like they do right now? Right this second, the state says, if you do that, straight to jail. Straight. Is that okay for the state to do? 
as <clears throat> gross as that is, I don't think that's okay. For yeah. Safety. So I mean, now if you want to know why I'm not a libertarian, it's because of fucking wackadoo takes like that. Wackadoo. Oh, we can't stop. We can't stop you from having your incest, baby. Sorry, we're libertarians so when over does here. Control <laughs> go too far to what end? If you're so bent on control. So. Uh, oh my! Can you guys wrap? I'm sorry. I, I, I don't mean to be rude, but like 30 seconds each, so I can try to wrap this up. Can you know? get along. Yeah, so when you're talking about uh, that question, you, you would ask it the same way in reverse. When does no control become a problem? I agree. So just it because, can't be, um, yeah, anarchy. Yeah, so when is that delineation? <laughs> you couldn't answer, right? You can't answer exactly when there would be a delineating point between too much and not enough. So it's actually an unfair question for a libertarian to ask that the other way, right? There's no way you could possibly answer it. But we can say that there is a delineation point somewhere within there, which would comport to reason. What that would be exactly, very difficult for us to ID. But we mm -hmm. know that there really isn't much of an objection or problem <sighs> or libertarians out there with signs saying, let the brothers and sisters have babies, because they don't care if the state enforces that. They I don't actually care. But People have to deal with their own consequences, right? And so that's where it comes. Where Brian wants to move on, so it's okay. fine. that's a whole other thing. But yes. And by the okay. way, don't conflate it with like, yeah, fuck your sister. Like, no. <laughs> well, <laughs> like, an abs I think an absence of enforcement is a contribution to enabling. Right. I mean, how isn't it? You know, like that's like saying, okay, you can. It's not illegal us. for you to shoot up heroin on the street but we're not going to stop you. How's that not really a contribution towards letting people could, do that? I know Brian people to move on, but we're going to, yeah. Okay. Okay, I need to finish a few notes here. Alex Kane, you said your dating life is pretty uneventful. You haven't been in many relationships. I'm more focused on living life and finding myself in this current moment in time. Period, I said that. <laughs> wow, we definitely didn't get that on camera, but... Um, Period. I said that. <laughs> uh, Sorry. It's, no, it's funny. It's I like nervous. It. It's, I just do good, it dude. after like no, every it's sentence. Cool. It's cool. It's cool. I didn't mean to make fun of you. It's uh, okay. I'm not. You have a 999 tattoo. I do. It's a little ghost in a jar for into the, 10 into bucks. The... Oh, can they see it Yeah, now? they can see yeah. it. Yeah. It's a little ghost in a jar for 10 bucks. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought it was like... Or 9.99, I guess. I thought it was like an OF reference or something. It does look like a sperm low-key, if y'all can see that. Yeah. I've heard that at least. Okay. <laughs> now, when you say you're focused on living life and finding yourself in this current moment in time journey... I wouldn't say I'm on a journey. <laughs> no offense to okay. your journey, of course. I respect your journey. <laughs> but I mean, I wouldn't say I'm on a journey. Uh, I just like yeah. got out of a long-term relationship mm -hmm. and don't think that it's you know sure. valid to rush into you another one. You describe yourself as a rave slut. <laughs> yeah, I really like EDM. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's it. That's what really it. Right. I'm the what slut EDM? for EDM, electronic dance music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, bringing it back here real quick, <clears throat> excuse me, to uh, Luna. You describe yourself as a succubus. Yeah. <laughs> Can we put it on? What? You describe yourself as a succubus. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that? Oh. Can yeah. you, here, we'll put it. She's hot. <laughs> it's my succubus. Did you play a warlock in World of Warcraft? No. Is okay. your name Lilith? Can be. For the right press. <laughs> okay. Um, what is a succubus? It's Into a, the mic, please. It's a female demon that fucks men and takes their souls. And that's, Sit is that what dress. you are? Why not? No. You've defined what a succubus is. Yeah, so. I mean, you know, every, every man I fuck, it's almost like their soul's taken, so... I think they would agree. Class. Is it because of the Seroquel or because of the, like the sex? Maybe a matter. little bit of both. Maybe it's the crazy it, that makes it, it so be. good. It could be. Um, okay, so you take their soul. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. You said that uh, you've got several everything from, uh, several stories. Dating closeted by and gay men to narcissists to just regular ain't shit men. Yes. 
Okay. You said that the fact that everyone thinks sex workers can't have genuine and meaningful relationships. I personally think sex work relationships are more fun. Yeah, they're more fun. They're open. No one's hiding anything from each other. Everyone accepts and loves each other for who they are and what everything they bring to the table. No one diminishes anyone's mm -hmm. value for simply existing. All right. You also said you think modern dating sucks and the idea of traditional dating isn't for everyone. Humans come in many different forms, and so does our love, affection, sexuality, and how we express it. One yes. size fits all doesn't work in fashion or dating. Exactly. Okay. We've talked about most of that already. Mm -hmm. We have Emily's not here. Um, t going back to Taylor, you said you have a ton of celebrity stories. Mm-hmm. And you have really strong views about modern men, women, dynamics. You said your boyfriend, who is twice your age, has interesting philosophy around monogamy. Mm -hmm. So what is, is that comes to do with the flirting stuff or is that like... A little bit, yeah. It's the idea of, again, transparency and not being in these rules and these boxes that society arbitrarily set up, right? And, you know, being in the individual's full power, and I know you guys keep like having a hard time wrapping your head around like, wait, flirting with other people, whatever, this, this. But at the end of the day, it's like for both of us, when we see the other person in their full power, like that is so awesome and so hot. Like it's even more of a turn on. So when I talk about all those things about, you know, it's not like he's like Hugh Hefner with a harem or I'm like slutty calls. You're like, let me just back up. It's not like that at all. Um, well, so... You said he has an interesting philosophy around monogamy. Aside from both Just of you, hold, hold on, hold oh, on. sorry, sorry. Aside from you, both flirting with other people, is there more to it than just that, or is that it? You know, if, oddly enough, so he's kind of challenged it and brought up. You know, like how natural is it? How you know? Again, is it just these rules? that society has put on us through all of these means, government, religion, whatever it is, culturally, right, to control us. So I've actually have taken this and played with it and run with it, not in a, you know, sleeping around with other people way, but playing around with it in my own way. And it's been really eye-opening and fun. Do you want me to get more specific? So, okay, so, just if you can try to be precise and okay. brief. So, so there's the flirting. Beyond flirting, right. what? Which is a power, right? And, uh, you know, I know the... It? I'm not sure how it's a power, but... It's a power. What do you mean? Like, the physicality and sexuality of men and women is such power. And I know that this woman it's who power. left here was saying, of course it Well, is. couldn't I just make an opposite argument and say people it's who... It's the first thing we <laughs> see. Can you stop? <laughs> can you stop? Can I just make an you argument that people by. who have sexual discipline, aka they don't flirt or they don't cheat, isn't that powerful? But it's not cheating. That's what I'm talking about. This is like what's so rare, right? Which people don't do. And why do so many people cheat? Because it's okay, kept so, in these confines, right? So, besides so many flirting, people are struggling with this. When it comes to interesting philosophy around monogamy, he's what's challenged the, can you, it. Yo, sure. Stop. He's, I just said, Brian. Yeah, but you got to let me finish my question before you just jump in because... You don't allow me to arrive at the point. So besides flirting, Fair enough. what actual conduct or behavior are you guys participating in that goes beyond just flirting? You know, sometimes we'll like give each other little challenges and, and you know, an example, right, for me is just having so much fun with men and shifting the power dynamic, right? So men are used to the chase. How much can I get out of a woman? How far can I get? Like, can I conquer it? Right. That whole thing. Yeah. So I have a lot of fun with shifting the power instead of them having to get something. Say I'm like, go out to dinner with, you know, a friend of mine totally respects me, whatever it is. I will put it on the table and be like, okay, you know, I dare you by the time we leave this restaurant, like grab my butt, go ahead, just try it. And it's so interesting. It happens, and it happens every time that they don't know what to do with that because normally that's their role, right? How far can I go? What can I get from her? How can I conquer her? So when you own it as a woman and put it out and set the boundaries, when you control the game board, it ends up flipping the whole power dynamic. You know how you normally hear women like, oh, you know, Samantha, don't sleep with him. On the, you're just going to give it all up on the first day and then he'll never want to see you. 
when I own my power like this and it's been so much fun, it's more, you know, mental stuff like that. It's not like, oh, it's a free for all and everyone just go fuck with whoever. And done. At least not for me. That's not my thing. Uh, but if that gives some specificity, I know it's little, hard for you guys to wrap your heads around. A little bit. So just okay. so I'm clear, sure. you go on dinner dates with male friends, platonic sure. male friends. Yes. And with your platonic male friends, you are just, I assume they know you're in a relationship. Yeah. You say, I'm transparent. I want I'm not you hiding. to grab my ass. I'll, I'll, I'll provoke. Like I dare you or some sort of fun what challenge. If they did? Because people, Would you be upset if they did? Not at all. And, and the funny thing is usually, has, has any guy grabbed your ass? Well, usually answer the question. Hold on. Answer hang the on question. No, I am Brian. I'm getting to it. All usually right. right away. Right. They're like, Oh no, no, no. I'm not going to, you know, I want, like I said, I want to date, da, da, da. but then ultimately they end up caving and doing it in a fun way and still completely respect me. And I have them like putty because they don't see me as some, you know, person who has no self-worth and doesn't value herself. They're like, this is bitch is in her power. Like, okay, fuck yeah. Like this is cool. And I think what I've learned, honestly, cause for me, I came from a really traditional relationship background. It opened my eyes to how confined and in boxes people feel like people just the things I've gotten people to do and say this is a version of what I've done on the red carpet like they just want to be liberated it's okay um, that you don't understand it I know you're both like your brain's broken but I understand maybe one day <laughs> I understand what you're awesome. doing I just Brian's I don't understand don't. Brian's brain is melting I don't understand the power you get by telling a platonic male friend I want you to grab my ass by the end of the no, day. No, no, I don't say I what? want you to. I ch toss out almost like a challenge because the power is that I'm in control. Like I said, I'm running the game board. The dude's trying to make the move this, that. So when you turn it around and you're like, hey, you go to come on, not just have a free for all and do whatever you want. Here are you're the rules. Out to dinner. You said you're out to dinner with your male friends, right? Sure. That's just an example. When you go out to dinner with your male friends and you don't put forward this challenge, do they still grab your ass? No, of course not. Well, so then, I. How is it? If the they guy, don't the grab, hold on, the, I always hold say on. You get let me the make my point. What you put let out. me make my point. If your male friends don't grab your ass, you guys funny. on a platonic dinner date, how is it empowering or giving you power to challenge your male friends to grab your ass? Because you're saying men have to make this move but they don't make the move to begin with because they're your male friends. But guys are always thinking it, right? I'm shifting the entire paradigm. No, if I was... The entire power dynamic. Guys always the pursuers dynamic? to conquer, da 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 They're your they friends, think it. They wanna, lady. But they are your friends, you're a lady. Guy, you know, they're still thinking, oh, maybe this, this, I dress her with my eyes. So when you flip that on them and have the power, though, so it's not like, I'm just sleeping, whatever. But you have that control really impact it shifts the whole dynamic of the role men normally play and on the chat is this confusing i'm a little confused that's okay by the I way really quick i'm gonna come back to that no worries. luna we did a poll did luna eat them up <laughs> nick <laughs> can you pull the chat over just give us twitch no i want the viewers to see it on the window so pull up twitch tab yeah. windows tab but so then also pull up the chat the too so we can show it because i think yeah. that's a fucking no-brainer so we did a poll, started 25 minutes ago. We, got, we have over a thousand votes. Can you drag it over? Yeah, uh, make it a little bigger. I'm batshit insane. You're right, bitch. Wait, like, you're right. Can you mouse wheel make it bigger? Yeah. Like click on it. You have no fucking idea. Just make it. Right. Big sass energy donated two hundred dollars. All right, I'll come back to it. Pseudo intellectual tame Thank of you, Barbie lacks vocabulary and refers to everything as power. Then deflects and infers others are stupid for not understanding. Oh. Brilliant. Wait, wait, wait. Hang Definitely on, hang on. a spiritual girl. All right, big sass energy. By the way, is this LPE? Is this LPE? Loose pussy energy. Okay. Oh. Thank you, man. Uh, pull it up quick, Nick, if you can. Go to Twitch. It's fine. Uh, can you click just on the can't poll? Understand you. Can you click on the poll? <laughs> They're not competent. No, no, no. Enough. Just click. Did Luna eat them up? 1,150 well, votes. Well, you've got a fan base of bigoted. I'm surprised, bro. You did better than yeah. I thought. 24% say you... I don't think they know what eat them up means, but okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Why Good job. Why do you job, think your Sims. viewers hate on women so much? Because they... 
align themselves with their views. They don't. Well, that Brian, I just have. looked in here. When I'm in real life, people are like, men, We've women, watched like, look your at you, show. like Barbie We've top, but you're also up here interviewing comments. Tucker Carlson. I'm here. <laughs> Timu, Barbie, do- I mean, is my ego a little hurt? Am I pulling a Trump with my bruised ego? A little bit, no, maybe. No. Again, I can I can admit it. Okay. But, you know, they're Sorry, just pretty They're comments. just pretty vicious. Yeah. What's that about? Anyways, I'm still horse, really babe. confused about this I whole monogamy I figured you would. Thing. We'll take it offline because it seems like you're just not... Well, here, let me ask a question. So besides the whole you on a friend dinner date, you're okay. That's just an example. You can grab my ass, whatever. (laughs) I challenge you to grab my ass by the end of the date. Brian, Uh, you would have fun if someone, because you're like, oh, wait, this is unexpected. I mean, if a girl told me that, I think she'd like, she was interested, but you're doing it as like a game. But the thing is, I set like, the boundaries. F- so I'll be like, okay, you know, 20 seconds here. That when they oh, they respect it, they never take a too far step out of line. And they're, will you be my girlfriend? Because they're not used to it. And that's what I mean. You keep being like, power, power. I don't get it. That's what it is. And when it comes to our relationship, I said he's the 